you, baby. One more win, and we're champs of the L.A. Invitational. And, Coach, you know what time that is. It's your turn to do the victory dance. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I can't. Go, Coach! Go, Coach! Go, Coach! Go, Coach! Go, Coach! Go, Excuse me, I'm looking for C Coach Fuller. <laughs> Hello, BB. I thought you were the mascot. Nice hat. <laughs> Guys, I want to meet my uh, old friend, Brendan Bynes. BB Bynes? The man needs no introduction. He's a legend. He had 20 career triple doubles, three championship rings. Uh -huh. And you and Coach had one of the greatest rivalries in the game. Yeah, I shot the lights out and your coach swept up afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I swept 19,000 points in your face! Oh! Oh! So with your salary, that worked out to be what? About a penny a basket? Oh! All right, all right, just keep running off at the mouth and I'll let my team do the talking for me when we whip your butts in the finals. Wait, you're coach in New York? Yeah, and I came by to offer my condolences now because I'm gonna be a little busy afterwards <laughs> when my team carries me off to victory. Oh, <laughs> keep dreaming, because I still got one more victory dance to go. Go, coach, go, right. coach. <laughs> well, I hope your team plays better than you dance, old man. <laughs> Looks like the old rivalry is back on, Coach. Man, ain't nothing back on. That's just BB trying to get to me. Might have worked when I was younger. I'm older, more mature now. We know. You mentioned that a few times. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> you guys, go hit the showers and start thinking about how we're going to whip New York. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Come right, on. Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Get that. I don't know what they're talking about. I know I can bust a move. Go, Coach. Go, Coach. <laughs> Beth, you'll never guess what happened. What? Well, I was sitting by the pool and I decided to go for a swim. But the ground was really hot, so I started running around going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Suddenly, I heard a whistle and a voice. No running! <sighs> I looked up and there he was. Lifeguard man. <sighs> Great, now you can stop making up people in your diary. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm in love. He's gorgeous, he's perfect. And did I mention he's gorgeous? You're kidding, I just met a guy who's gorgeous, perfect, and gorgeous, too. Oh, that must be how they grow him in California. <laughs> hey, Julie. Hey, Chrissy. Hi, Hi Scott. Scott. How do you know him? How do you know him? Oh, my gosh, this is just like Melrose Place. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have any messages for room 119? Staying on the first floor, huh? Well, that's too bad. Penthouse suite has a great view. <laughs> <laughs> How would you know? You're always looking in the mirror. <laughs> hey, hey, BB, we just went out and bought your basketball car. Hey. Uh, could you sign up for us? Oh, sure, no problem. Uh, did you guys notice my cars there? Or were they sold out as usual? Actually, I've seen yours on special. Buy a pack of WNBA cards, get a bill full of card free. <laughs> <laughs> bill, BB, how you doing? Hey, you're Chick Storm, host of that TV show Sports Chat, huh? It's me. Could you do your famous saying for us? You know, go! Hey, hey, Vince! 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 <laughs> this isn't that guy. Oh. Could you do it anyway? So what are you doing here, Chick? I want you guys to come on the show. I mean, with your teams in the finals, the media can't stop talking about your old rivalry. We even dug up your old highlight reels. Sure, I'll do it. Me too. Boy, it'll be fun watching those old highlight reels. Uh, Bill, your only highlight is when you retired. <laughs> <laughs> and your only highlight is when you highlight your hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, guys. Save some of this for the show. Oh, uh, don't worry. I've got uh, plenty for the show. See you later, Coach. <laughs> gets him and the other one has to back off. Deal? Okay. Sounds fair to me. Me too. But who goes first? Heads, it's Chrissy. Tails, it's Julie. Oh. Tails, it's Julie. <laughs> yes. I don't know about this. I mean, Julie's so beautiful. There's no reason Scott won't ask her out. Oh, please. You're just as beautiful as she is. Look, they're already hitting it off. I wonder what they're saying to each other. Julie, you're so beautiful. Ten times more than your friend, Christy. I know. 
I'm glad you came to talk to me because she's a dork and I want you to marry me. That is so sweet. Yes, I'll marry you. All right, now. We are gathered here today. Blah, 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 blah. But if anybody has a problem with these two, hook it up, speak up, or shut up. No, stop. Christy, what are you doing? <gasps> Choking someone need help. <laughs> Not you, him. Christy, you okay? Choking need Heimlich. <gasps> Ow! I mean, uh, you saved me. As long as you're all right. Yeah. I'll see you later. So, what happened with you and Scott? Nothing. We were interrupted by choking girl. <laughs> oh, sure. Blame the victim. <laughs> All right, Coach, you look great. Yep, and because you're up against BB and all his endorsements, we made you a little something. Fuller feet? Yes, your big sock deal. Fuller feet. The treat for your feet when you want to beat the heat on the street. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't need to make up things to compete with BB. Guys, I'm proud of my own accomplishments. Hey, we're on in 10 seconds, guys. Oh, oh, don't forget to smile. Hello again, everybody. This is Chick Storm, and you're watching Sports Chat. With me today are two former NBA rivals turned high school coaches whose teams have made it all the way to the finals of the LA Invitational. Coach B.B. Bynes and Coach Bill Fuller. Thanks for coming, guys. No problem. The pleasure's all mine, Chick. Well, looks like we're starting with B.B. <laughs> so, B.B., tell us, how's life after the NBA been to you? Oh, well, Chick, couldn't be better. As everyone knows, my sneaker is the number one shoe in the country, and uh, just finished up a guest spot on Baywatch, and uh, got a new book. <laughs> BBQing with BB Vines. You know, I've had a sweet and tangy chicken. It is delicious. So, Bill Fuller, tell us what it's like coaching in a small town. Yeah, what's it like being a big fish in a small pond? You know, Chick, I made a conscious decision to go to a community where basketball, family, and hard work go together. And I wouldn't trade my job for anything. Well, it's good to know your limitations. Well, at least I'm not oh. a sellout. What are you coming out with next, kitty litter? <laughs> coming this summer to a pet store near you. Let's switch gears to the upcoming game. Now, tomorrow could be the first time Bill Fuller beats B.B. Bynes in a championship game. Now, we know he hasn't as a player, but what about as a coach? B.B.? Well, we're going to put those tornadoes and the coach back out to pasture where they belong. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Fuller, you want to respond? Yeah, to that? I do. A money chasing, trash talking fool like him doesn't deserve to win. And he's not about basketball, chick. He's only about BB. That's yeah, right, that's you right. tell him, Joe. Yeah. And tomorrow, we're going to crush New York in the finals. Now put that on your barbecue and burn it. Yeah, I'm coming. is reserved for my team's practice. You're one minute late. You snooze, you lose. Oh, oh I'm sorry. My BB Bynes watch keeps breaking. It's just like you. It's cheap, the hands are slow, and the face is ugly. <laughs> well, your team probably needs the practice. So why don't we share the court? <laughs> Thanks. Now you only seem like half a jerk. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's get with it. guys looking good come on tornado jump higher let's go get up come on michael okay you can stop oh, what coach we're not dead yet Whew. speak for yourself coach we want to win this just as much as you do. 
But that's not gonna happen if you keep running us into the ground. Look, guys, if you wanna win, you have to work hard. Okay, guys, give me 10 more. All right, give me 20 more. Huh? Are you kidding? 30 more. Okay, he's not kidding. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, let's go. You have such a nice touch. Thank you. It's just a friendly service. It's part of the job. So, um, I'm free tonight, just in case you're wondering. Well, I... Attention, please. Christy Ford, please pick up the white courtesy phone. Christy Ford, white courtesy phone. Cool, my first white courtesy phone call. Don't move. I'll be right back. Is the seat taken? Well, actually, oh, Christy... she went out and talked to her boyfriend on the telephone. You know, he gets really jealous. He always calls from karate class. Do you mind? <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, you left, and I felt bad for Scott sitting here all alone. <laughs> well, he wouldn't have been alone if you just didn't have me paged for no reason. I had a reason, Mrs. Heimlich. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta go stop some shenanigans in the kitty pool. Yeah. Good one, you scared him off. Me? Yeah. No, the only time he gets scared is when you walk oh, into the picture. Oh, wait, I'm sitting here. No, so, how's our friendly competition going? I hate her. She's evil. <laughs> <laughs> Women. All right, guys, look. This is what we traveled across the country for. Now, let's close it out. All right, let's get it in, guys. Beat New York on three. One, two, three. Beat New York! Hope you like losing. Oh, I forgot. You're used to it. <laughs> You still can't win the big one. <laughs> Come on, just ignore him, coach. Time out! Time out! What are you guys doing out there? Are your heads in this game or what? Coach, we're only down by two. Yeah, we're right in this. But I want you to blow them out. Now get out there and take over the game. Let's go. Blocking! Oh, come on, are you kidding me? He had position. Oh, man, you've been making junk calls like that ever since you walked out here. Get back to your bench, coach. You're getting a technical. You know, I agree with you. That looked like a charge. See? Even the other team saw it. The only games you should be calling are video games, you nearsighted fool. There's your key. What? That's it. You're out of the game. Obviously, this game means a lot to the coach. We can't let him down. Shh. 
we lose, he's gonna make us run back to Indiana. Come on, Dave. We can do this. Let's do it. Put it in. Win on three. One, two, three. Win! Let's go! Come on. Crazy! That was goaltending the ball at the backboard. Oh, what? Come on, Michael. We need you in this game. Yeah, relax. Okay, we're still in it. Man, we'd be winning right now if it wasn't for that loser, Ross. Come on. What did you say? Cool. Oh, what? First you can't see, and now you can't hear. You're gone. Out of the game. So what happened? Did we win? Only if winning means scoring less points than the other team. Hi, guys. I saw what happened out there. Look, Coach, I'm sorry. And I got carried away. We're sorry we let you down. No, I let you guys down. I mean, I was using you guys to settle my own score with BB. I should have ignored him, but instead I let him get to me. That interfered with the job I had to do. I'm sorry. It's all right, Coach. I mean, we wanted to beat him just as much as you did. Danny, beating BB is not the point. Man, I set a horrible example for you guys. And by you following my bad example hurt the whole team and cost us the game. No, I messed up. Well, Coach, when you mess up, you mess up good. Oh, no. Bitch! <laughs> but tonight at the awards dinner, I'm going to be a good loser. It's not something I like to do, but I'm going to do it right. And I expect all of you to do the same. But, Coach, what if B.B. starts talking trash? Just ignore him and smile. I'm all tea. I'm going to ignore him. <laughs> all right. So we'll keep our head up. All right. Julie, Christy, the competition was a bad idea. Well, what do you think we should do about Scott? We should just come right out and ask him who he'd like to go out with. Oh, Scott! Hi. Can I get you guys anything? Listen, my two friends here want you. Pick one and make my life easier. Well, each one of them is very beautiful, and uh, I'd be crazy not to go out with either of them. Yeah, compliments are sweet, but that doesn't help me here. You gotta pick one. I can't. Because if I did, my wife would never speak to me again. Sorry. <laughs> Have we learned a little lesson here? We know, we know. Never let a guy ruin our friendship. <laughs> well, the good news is, I already met a new guy. Oh, you're kidding, so did I. Hey, Julie. Hey, Christy. Hi, Hi Justin. Justin. Uh-uh, I am out of this one. <laughs> well, Fuller, looks like you got another entry for your low light reel. Uh, remember, smile. <laughs> Congratulations, B.B. You guys were the better team. Oh, give up on the let's be good sports rap. You know you can't pull it off. <laughs> Listen, B.B., I've given in to your big mouth enough times in my life. I'm not going to stoop to your level anymore. <laughs> now, come on, Fuller. Now, I know how you'd love to hit me with this. Man, it's not going to work. I'm better than that now. You don't have the guts to do it. Oh, I got the guts. I just don't want to do it. I do. 